Hi, we are here with BB the Toy Poodle. Today we will be clipping her face, feet, and tail. So let's get busy. It's a good girl. We have her ears wrapped up to keep them out of the way. To do that, I have used Vet Wrap. Before we get started, let's talk about some basics. We want to clip her the top knot from the corner of the eye to the opening of the ear in a straight line. Then we want to clip her down into either a V-shape or a U-shape on the neck. How far to trim down the neck is a matter of preference. However, as a general rule, I tilt my poodle's nose down, measure the length of the nose, and that's how far down I trim. Some people like to put an inverted V right in the stop, which is right between the eyes on the bridge of the nose. I do not. I typically just simply make a straight line across. I typically use a tin blade from the corner of the eye to the corner of the lip, back towards the ear, down on the front of the throat, and again on the opposite side, back towards the ear. From the corner of the eye and the corner of the mouth going forward, I will use anywhere from a 10 blade to a 15 to a 30 to a 40, depending on the dog's sensitivity level and the objective. So if it's a dog who's going to be shown, I typically use a 40 blade. If it is a very sensitive skin dog, I use a 10 blade. For most house pets, I use a 15. And that is going against the grain towards the nose. So from the corner of the eye to the corner of the mouth, we go with the grain. From the corner of the eye to the corner of the mouth going forward towards the nose, I go against the grain. That gives me a nice clean finish. On the front of the muzzle, right in here, if I want a really clean finish, I will go over that with a 30 or a 40, depending on the dog's sensitivity level. On the feet, I will use anywhere from a 10 blade to a 40 blade. If I use a 10 blade, it's only on the tops of the feet and on the knuckles, not in between the toes and not under the pads of the feet. The reason for this is, is a 10 blade oftentimes will catch skin when scooping in between the toes or scooping in between the pads because the teeth are a little bit wider than on the shorter blades. As a general rule for most pets feet in my salon, I use a 30 or a 40, typically a 30 blade. Under the tail and the base of the tail is a matter of preference for me. If I am doing a show trim, I'll use a 40 blade on top of the tail and a 10 or 15 underneath. All pet dogs that I work on, I will use a 10 blade. On the tummy, I usually use a 10 blade. How do you know if a dog's skin is sensitive to the point where you cannot use one of the shorter blades? Typically, if you test out between the pads, if there's allergies, redness, or scaling, I stay on the long side of my blades. If it's a white dog with a pink nose or pink skin, I will stay on the long side with my blades, meaning a 10 blade. If it's a dog who has been shown, they're typically conditioned to have 30 and 40 blades used on them from the time that they're very young. Their skin is a bit tougher, so they can handle it. Let's talk about clipper burn. Clipper burn usually comes from going too close with your blade. It usually is not associated with the blade being too hot. While the heat of the blade could aggravate a situation, most clipper burn that I have seen comes from going too close in the wrong areas. Clipper burn is typically a sore caused by scratching. One way to prevent clipper burn is making sure the dog's nails are filed on the day that they get a haircut. Filing the back nails will make the nails smooth, so if they do bat at their face, 
it's not going to cause injury. If the nails are sharp and freshly cut, they will absolutely cause injury almost instantly and then continue to scratch and make a clipper burn where there wouldn't have been one originally. So let's talk about going too close. What is too close? If I'm saying I use 40 blades on the face, what would be considered too close? So, like I said, I go from the corner of the eye to the corner of the mouth with the grain all the way down the throat, all the way around the other side so that these areas from the corner of the eye and the corner of the mouth back are always clipped with the grain, even on my show dogs. Occasionally, very, very, very rarely, you will see me clipper against the grain on a dog with a 15 blade that I know can handle a 40 blade with the grain. That's a rare occasion. On occasion, I do it. For the pet dogs that I work on that are not accustomed to being clippered the way that show dogs are accustomed to being clippered, I almost always stay with the grain in these areas. So the areas that are most common to clipper burn are right behind the lips, right in front of the ears, and usually right in here. And the reason for right in here is they'll have these little folds of skin and you'll catch them with the blade. And that catching with the blade is typically what will cause the dog to start scratching. If a dog clipper burns once, they almost always will clipper burn again. So you always go with the next longest blade. Using my hand as a claw over the head, I use my thumb and stretch the lips back. And then as I go to clipper, this skin is nice and tight. It's not hanging loose. The lips are not hanging loose, which means that I can come in here and clip this rather safely. I am using an Artero Spectra clipper. I find that this clipper is extremely safe. There are certain types of clippers, certain brands of clippers that are four in one, five in one clippers that I find nick dogs rather regularly or scrape skin. So now we're switching to a 15 blade. As I go to trim between the eyes, I'm taking my hand in a C shape and holding the top knot back, but also stretching this and stretching this so that the skin is taut. Now I'm stretching the lips again as I come in towards the muzzle. I want to get the corners of the lips here very clean. I'm going to use one finger to lift up the lip a little bit and my thumb to pull back the corner of the lip so that it's flat. Baby is going to have a fluffy trim, so I am going to leave a V in front of her tail. It sets her tail up nicely on her back. To do this, I'm going to use a 40 blade, bringing my clipper straight down on either side of the V, cleaning it up a little bit, brushing it again, bringing my clipper straight down on top of the V again, and then coming back in and cleaning it up from the other direction.
And let's talk about the lines on where to trim the tail. When you drop the tail down, you will have a pin bone on either side of the tail. It's a prominent bone that sticks out. We also know this as the point of rump. At the line where these pin bones are, that's the exact line where I usually trim my tail to. It's a foolproof way to get the proper set on your tail. We don't want the whole thing balded, so using the edge of my clipper, I'm gonna come in this way, this way, up, this way, this way, up. Next, we're going to clean up her private areas. I find that this area is easily accessible by lifting one leg up and stretching out the skin. Again, stretching the skin helps to prevent any nicks. For her feet, I prefer a 40 blade. How far up should you clip the feet? That's a common question. When I clip her feet, I clip her to the bend of the foot. I start by clipping over the top of the foot. After that, I start going between the toes. I scoop in one way, then the other, scooping back and forth. Once that is finished, I go back and clean up around the toes. It is my preference to shave feet both before and after the bath. This way, when you shave the feet before the bath, you are getting them pretty well clean. Then you give them the bath and the blow dry and that lifts any of those little hairs around the toenails up and out and makes getting them very clean, very easy. Okay, BB's face, feet, and tail are all shaved clean, and she is finished for today. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you don't miss any uploads. All the tools and products that I use today are in the description below this video with links. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye!